Hello and welcome to Mensloop Academy. So in this five minutes introduction to hashes versus encryption, we're going to take a look at the difference between the two by understanding quickly how they work. So first off, what are hash? So basically hashes are a mathematically calculated value that is generated from a variable length of data. So for example, we see here that this is the SHA-1 algorithm that is used for the hash. And when we give an input to this hash, for example, ABC, we get a fixed length value based on the algorithm. If we change the input by uh, shifting C to a D, we get an entirely uh, new value based on the same algorithm. And when using hashing, it's a one-way uh, transfer, meaning that you can't convert this back. So whatever input you give to this algorithm, as long as you input ABC and use the share one, you will always get the same uh, output. So anybody in the world using this algorithm and this input will get this output. And that is why hashing compared to encryption serves a different purpose. We'll take a look at that in the end. So this is quickly what hashing is. Then we have encryption. So encryption, that is the process of taking some data and then you apply some mathematical calculation. And encryption is used to uh, hide data in transfer such that you can communicate with another party or store it somewhere for you to get back to and then read it later on without having anybody else looking at it. So the way encryption works compared to hashing is by having keys. So there is two ways of encryption using keys. There is semantic encryption where you have one key. This means that the key that you use here to encrypt your input to the encrypted value is the same key that you will use to decrypt it again to get the original input uh, that you gave. Whereas there is also a semantic encryption where you have two keys. So you have a public key, uh, a private key, and then you have a public key. So the private key is the one that you keep for yourself, hence the word private. So for example, if I were to encrypt a message ABC and send it over to a friend, I could use my private key to encrypt it. I will get an encrypted value and then I could send it over an unsecure channel to my friend and hence he, he have uh, my public key, he can decrypt it and then he knows that if he is capable of decrypting this message, then he knows that the message came from me and then you can use it for uh, encryption where you have two keys that are shared between two parties where both of them are kept secret and hence you will have encryption and uh, integrity of uh, the data. So last off, let's compare the two. So hashes, that is a one-way process. You can't reverse uh, a hash. So if you get hold of a hashed value, then you cannot uh, revert it back to the original input. That's simply not possible. The only way that you can for sure know that this hash actually covers this particular value is by being able to uh, take a uh, input and locally using the same algorithm hit the exact same hash. So if you for example get this hash value, the only way that you can ensure what this value is covering is by just brute forcing your way until you hit ABC on this algorithm which will then again provide this output. Whereas encryption is a two-way. So if you just have either the symmetric, the same key, then you can encrypt and decrypt whenever you want or using the asymmetric uh, approach where you have two keys, the public and private key, then you can again encrypt and decrypt whenever you want. So you can always get the original out, uh, input back as long as you have the keys. Then the hashes is always in a fixed length. And that is also what we see here. Even though we have two different values, the length is the same because using this algorithm, we we'll get a fixed length value. Whereas in encryption, the length of the encrypted string is based on the size of the data. So where are these two uh, approaches used? Well, hashes is mostly used for storing passwords because then you can store the hashed value instead of the original uh, password in its raw format. So if a hacker get access to your database, get all the hashes, he is not capable of reverting them back to the original passwords. Then it is also used for data integrity. For example, if you download something, something online, and you want to ensure that the file that you have downloaded is the file that the creator uploaded, then you can take a hashed value of the file and compare it using his sum value if he has provided that. And if the two matches, you know that the data that you have is exactly the same. 
and it, it has not been te uh, tampered with during transfer. So you can use it for data integrity. Then we have encryption. Encryption is mostly used for communication between two parties to ensure that nobody is able to eavesdrop on it. And then for signing, where as mentioned, you can uh, use a private key to encrypt something. And if people using your public key that you have made available is capable of decrypting it, they know it has come from you because your public key is only capable of decrypting messages that has been encrypted using your private key hence the signing. So that's what's short about hashes versus encryption. If you want uh, more details about this, I have made other videos on the channel as well, and I will link to them in the top right corner. So see you next time and Winslow Academy.